Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gabriel In this video, I want to talk about something that's not spoken about much in the personal finance world or just in American culture in general, and that is the importance of saying no to money. The importance of not always chasing money and being comfortable to make a little bit less every now and then. Because we often look at making and accumulating more money in life as only a good thing. That as you make and accumulate more money, your quality of life only improves. But with anything in life, too much of a good thing eventually becomes toxic. Because if you take this concept too far and are always focused on making and accumulating money, it can eventually create problems that lower your quality of life. And so in this video, I want to talk about six problems that come from always seeking more money in life and the importance to not always be chasing money and say no to money every now and then. And the first problem is pushing yourself beyond your limits. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because the last week I pushed myself too far in this YouTube game and I hit a wall. Whether you believe it or not, YouTube is a very intense thing to do because when you're trying to make money on YouTube, you're under this constant pressure to keep making videos that perform well that you get trapped in this feedback loop of creating something, collecting data on it, analyzing the data, and responding and adjusting to the data. Data. And the reason you get caught in this feedback loop is because you want views to go up because when views go up, revenue also goes up. Which is exciting because more money is always great. However, what eventually happens is this feedback loop of seeking more views, more growth, and more money pushes you to a point of exhaustion where you are burnt out and can't focus. And it's not worth it. And so saying no to money is important because sometimes it's the only way to gain back your sanity, to leave the feedback loop, make a bit less, and prioritize your mental health. Because no amount of money is worth losing your sanity. Now the second problem is setting unrealistic expectations that bring you down. So another problem with always seeking more money and more growth is that you eventually start to set these unrealistic expectations on yourself. For example, in my own scenario, when I'm seeking more and trying to grow more, I end up creating these unrealistic expectations, like how much work I can get done in a day, how many tasks I can juggle at once, and how well I can continually perform. And if I'm unable to follow through with these expectations, I feel disappointed with myself. And it brings me down because it makes me feel like I'm not doing enough. And whether that's with YouTube or if you have a normal job, constantly seeking more eventually makes you set these unrealistic expectations on yourself. And it leaves you never satisfied and disappointed. And so saying no to more money and more growth is important because as a human being, there are limits to how much you can do. And when you are realistic with yourself and don't set these unrealistic expectations, I think that you live a much happier life. Now the third problem is burdening yourself with responsibility. When it comes to our careers, society pressures us to always be in this upward trajectory of climbing up the ranks and making more money. And although more status and more money are a good thing, a con of this trajectory of always climbing is that we burden ourselves with responsibilities that might not be worth it. For example, if an associate gets a promotion to become a boss, they get a bigger salary. But with that comes more responsibilities like overseeing people, longer hours, and higher expectations to perform. And although society might see this as a good thing, the individual might see it as a bad thing. Because they go from a normal 40-hour work week with minimal stress to a 60-hour work week of always feeling stressed out. Society often frowns on the idea of turning down promotions and not seeking growth, and it's not always a realistic thing to do. But it's important to at least see that as you're climbing in life, a side effect is that you're burdened with responsibilities. 
And so saying no to more money and more growth is important because you avoid the burden of responsibilities that come from this growth in life, although it's not always a realistic thing to do. Now, the fourth problem is overcommitting yourself. When it comes to making money on YouTube, the big money is in sponsors. I mean, the money you can make from one sponsored video is equivalent to about three to four non-sponsored videos. And from a money standpoint, it makes sense to bring on as many sponsors as you possibly can. However, when you do bring on a sponsor, you now have this commitment where you have to do what the brand wants you to do. Get the video done earlier than usual and deliver on your promise that the video will perform well, which is an added stress. And when I talk to other YouTubers, one mistake I often see people make is trying to earn the maximum amount of money possible, but then they overcommit themselves and get extremely stressed out. No matter how you make money in life, when you are receiving money, you are committing to something. And when you say yes to every single opportunity that comes your way, you can overcommit yourself and get overwhelmed by all of your commitments. And so saying no to money is important because sometimes the stress that you get from overcommitting yourself is not worth the money. And sometimes it's just better to make less money and have more peace of mind in life. Now the fifth problem is never being satisfied. I think that people try to make more and more money in life because they think that the more money you have, the more satisfied you'll be in life. However, what I have noticed in my own life is that getting more money does make you feel more satisfied to a point. But after that point, the more money you accumulate, the less satisfied you feel. And that's because the point at which more money makes you feel more satisfied is called enough. And everything beyond that point is more than enough. People often get in this never ending journey of trying to make more and more money, but then they get further and further away from being satisfied in life. True satisfaction comes when you decide when you have reached this point, enough and then defining what it means to you. To me, enough is about being able to pay all my bills, being able to buy things I enjoy, and feeling financially secure. And once you reach that point of enough, to not feel the need to constantly make more and say no to money more often. Just giving yourself the permission to chill and not always be wanting to make more. And so saying no to money is important because money can only satisfy you up to a certain point. And you'll never reach that point until you define it. But once you define enough in your life, you'll feel more satisfied and not constantly be wanting more. Now the final problem of always trying to make more money in life is forgetting the point of money. Being able to say no to money is an immense privilege. I mean, most people don't have that option. Most people are struggling so much that they have to prioritize money over spending time with their family, important life experiences, and even their mental sanity. Most people don't have the option to say no to money and just have to take what they can get in life. But if you do have the option to say no to money, it's important to take it because if you don't take that opportunity, you're kind of missing the point of money because money by itself is completely worthless. What brings money value is what you choose to do with it and how you use it to enrich your life. Like spending more time with people you care about, creating memorable experiences, and being comfortable. Money is just gonna come and go in life and it's always gonna be a priority. But if you do have some level of financial security in life with an emergency fund, investments, and no debt, then you should say no to money more often and focus more on important things. 
because the purpose of money is to use it as a tool to enrich your life. And so saying no to money is important because if you don't say no every now and then, you're kind of missing the point of money. And with that, muchas gracias, que tengan un buen día, nos vemos chicos.